All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start by giving all praises and glory to Yah Bashmir Al Shah, Bashmir Al Kakudash, double honors to my apostles and elders who taught us this knowledge through the Spirit, by Yah Bashmir Al Shah. You know, uh, this is all uh, Sirach, chapter 10, verse 19. They that fear the Lord are a sure seed, and they that love him an honorable plant. They that regard not the law are a dishonorable seed. They that transgress the commandments are a deceivable seed. So the fear of the Lord is a, a pure, a sure seed, man. You know. And if you don't fear the Lord, then you're dishonorable and you're deceivable. You're a deceivable seed. See, we as being men of the Lord, we want to be on. Um, we want. We want to love Yahweh, you know. Because if we don't love Yahweh, then we're basically gonna transgress His commandments. We're not gonna. Do, we're not gonna honor Him. We're not gonna praise Him. We're not gonna do all these things that we must do. If we don't fear the Lord, then we're not gonna do these things. So if we fear the Lord, then we're gonna be that sure seed, and we're gonna pray. I mean, slide, we're gonna praise Him. You know, pray to Him. You know, fast before him, do all these things that he delights in. You know, verse 20, among brethren, he that is chief is honorable. So are they that fear the Lord in his eyes. So those people who fear the Lord, they are kind of honorable, man. You know, verse 21, the fear of the Lord goeth before obtaining the obtaining of authority. So before you have any type of authority, you must fear the Lord. You know that and that goes with anything you know if you if you have if you're trying to get some type of authority in this world you know um you you most likely you fear the person that that is above you you know again a higher pay grade you fear your boss basically you fear your boss and you how about is our boss and the, we if we want to obtain authority under him you know we must you know fear him but roughness and pride is the losing thereof. So the Lord don't want to deal with no proud ass, you know, proud ass uh, servant, you know, a servant that think he better than everybody. You know, even even most high, he think he's God and he's so great, you know, but that's his pride, man. You know, and pride is a motherfucker, man. Pride is, uh, is, is uh, pride to destroy you, man. This is verse 22. Whether he be rich, noble, or poor, their glory is the fear of the Lord. And that's our glory. We glory in fearing the Lord. You know, in fearing the Lord, we know what we know what the Lord told us to tell. Uh, we know what the Lord told us not to do, you know, like eat pork and all these things. He told us not to do these things. And if you fear the Lord, you're going to obey him. It is not it is not meat to despise the poor man. Or it's like, wait, wait, wait. Okay, that goes into another topic. Okay, let's go to another precept. Fear the Lord. See, it says, yeah, it says it's 258. Well, all of them are not together, but, you know, it's in here a lot. And I want to go to Sirach real quick. Bring out some daggers real quick. Sirach 40 and 27. The fear of the Lord is a fruitful garden and covered him above all glory. So if you fear the Lord, your fruits is like it's like you're a fruitful garden, man. You know, you're going to have fruits, man. And abundance. Wait. OK, uh, it's a lot of these. I don't even know which one to get. Um. Ooh, I got this one. It's Sirach 25 and 12. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of his love, and faith is the beginning of cleaving unto him. So if you fear the Lord, that's the beginning of loving him, man. You know? That's the beginning. And if you have faith, that's the beginning of cleaving unto him. Sirach 21 and 11. He that keepeth the law of the Lord getteth the understanding thereof and the per 
perfection of the fear of the Lord is wisdom. That's, that's plain and simple, man. Sirach 19 and 18. The fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him. And wisdom obtaineth his love. It's important. It's very important to fear the Lord. Sirach 2 and 15. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word, and they that love him will keep his ways. And that's pretty simple. If you love the Lord, you will not disobey him. You know, you would do what he told you to do. That means preach his word and true you know, uh, week in, can, week out, you know, go into the highways and the byways. Verse sixteen. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well that with that which is well pleasing unto him, and they that love him shall be filled with the law. So if you love the Lord, you're gonna you're gonna fit you're gonna be filled with the law, you're gonna be occupied, you're gonna be worried about the law. Verse seventeen, I mean they that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts and humble their souls in his sight. And that's what the men, that's what the men uh, of Great Millstone have done, man. And we are following that, exa that example. This is Sirach 14 and 26. I should have got 26, then got 27. Riches and strength lift up the heart, but the fear of the Lord is above them both. So the fear of the Lord is above riches and strength. There is no want in the fear of the Lord. There is no want in the fear of the Lord. And it needeth not to seek help. So if you fear the Lord, you won't, you wouldn't want for nothing. You know, because the Lord will give you everything your heart desires. You know, if you fear the Lord, you have no want. You, you, you have no needs. Because the Lord is going to... Give you everything that you want and everything that you need if you fear him and if you keep his word and be faithful unto him. Ooh, Sirach 33 and 1. There shall no evil happen unto him that feareth the Lord, but in temptation even again will he deliver him. So I hope you brothers see the message. I hope you brothers hear what the Spirit is saying. You know, fear the Lord. Fear Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shah. Sirach 32 and 14. Whosoever feareth the Lord will receive his discipline. And they that seek him early shall find favor. Whew. This is hot. It's getting hot in here, man. These scriptures is it's getting hot, man. Sirach 27 and 3. Unless a man holdeth himself diligently in the fear of the Lord, his house shall soon his house shall soon be overthrown. So if you don't hold yourself diligently in the fear of the Lord, your house will be overthrown. You know, I, I just want to get a couple precepts concerning the fear of the Lord. You know, I hope you better get the, what the spirit is saying. You know, fear the Lord. That's very important. You know, so with that, man, I just want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Rekakodash, Dabon.